Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Tokusatsu night and instead of starting with Osama Santa King Ojer, I figured I would change gears, no pun intended, and I would start with Avatar Ascended Dawn Brothers because we have been skipping that series for the past couple weeks because of work and because I've been sick. So I figured it would be nice to, you know, just go into this series and introduce it to people who haven't seen it yet. If you are not familiar thus far, we are introduced to a young lady named Haruka Kido. I think her last name is Kido. I'm pretty sure that's her last name. And she is accused of plagiarism. She is a mangaka, even though she's 17, because I guess that's a really common thing in Japan. But she, she writes manga, and she's in high school. And she, one day, is accused of plagiarism. Because of this, she loses everything. She loses her status. She loses her friends. She loses all of her awards. Uh, her boyfriend doesn't want anything to do with her. And in the midst of all this, for some reason, she finds a pair of glasses. And these glasses, when she puts them on, they let her see these weird alien creatures. And of course, she freaks out. She runs away. But she ends up finding someone named named, named uh, Momo Itaro, or at least she's looking for someone named Momo Itaro, and she becomes uh, the yellow, 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 I, there's a name for it. I know one is Saru, I know one is Inu. I don't know what the name of hers is. I guess it's Usagi, because in this episode, in episode three, one of the characters refers to her as a rabbit, so I guess it's the Usagi done. I guess I'm not sure. But uh she's been looking for Momori Taro and she finally finds him and what's funny is she doesn't immediately know who he is. So like she invites him into the house and they end up doing her dishes together. This this show is just it, it's it's something. And they uh they're talking and for whatever reason, Taro ends up taking her to run deliveries with him um, because he's trying to track down a thief. And she's also trying to track down Momo Taro, who is standing right next to her. And I love her reaction when she finally figures out who he is. And she's like, why didn't you say anything? And he's like, because you didn't ask me. Like, <laughs> There's a scene in the restaurant where he tries to tell her who he is. And she's just like, oh, no, like, oh, no, this is what your shirt says. So I'm going to go with what your shirt says because she's not exactly the brightest person. So they're, they they catch the thief, and the thief is this week's... I don't know the name for it yet. I I know we have monsters because, because in Power Rangers, uh, the aliens, you know, they're themed... And this week, the the theme is darkness, and the 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 alien that attaches itself to the back. I don't know what it's called, but anyway, it, he is for whatever reason trying to snuff out all of the lights. I I, I guess because Momo Taro delivers happiness, he delivers darkness. I don't think they make that really clear, but he, he's trying to snuff out all the lights, uh, so they track him down, and meanwhile, there's, there's a girl, uh, I think they're called the Noto. The Noto is the other group that's not the Dawn Brothers. They're the, the, um, much less nice aliens, so we're introduced to the girl of the Noto. We're also introduced to the professor, who is very weird I mean all the characters in the show are weird but he's very weird like he has these weird remedies and he he just kind of wanders around the city and one thing I do think is nice is that he uses his powers to help people that's very cute um but we 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 don't know anything else so far we know that that she's finally found uh Mamo Itaro, I have a feeling she's going to lose him again. I have a feeling either she's going to forget who he is or he's just going to disappear on her because he he always does that. And we we continue the running gag of them, gag of him, you know, trying to make bonds with people, which is very funny. But 
there I'm sorry I don't have a lot yet because the show is just getting started but it's really cute I like the fact that all the characters are very quirky and very fun I like the fact that Haruka I like her personality I like the fact that she doesn't just sit back and I uh, can, you know, accept what's going on. She's constantly like, what the fuck is going on? I don't understand. Like, what am I doing here? <laughs> it's really funny. I like the fact that uh, that Momoi Taro is just kind of like, kind of, you know, he's more concerned with the packages and he's more concerned with the fact that, you know, he, act that the packages are going to get damaged. And he tells the guy, he tells the guy to his face when he's confronting the guy, you know, you're, you're supposed to be bringing happiness to people. It's really cute. Um, I wish we got more with the Noto because we don't really know anything about it. I know we're only on episode three, so we probably are going to get more with them. But that is the first of my three videos. Still have not decided if I'm going to uh, portmanteau all of them into one video. I probably am. Just because it's easier and less time consuming and I'll only have to record one one video instead of three. But we are at the end of this episode. If you like this, this episode, you can go back and watch my previous two new from the series. I also have Russia Sentai I Tokyo Gear coming up. I might also do the series before this cause, because there's a series. Uh, this is a direct sequel to another series. So I might watch that series to see if... Uh, if, if that series has any connection. And we also have Osama Sentai King Ojo, which is the next video I'm going to do. So I will see you in the next video.